the Chicago Bears bring back a fan favorite with re-signing Jesper Horstedt to a one-year deal. And with that, welcome back guys to another episode of the German Bear Podcast. And today we have to talk about Ryan Polt's latest move, plus the Bears' tight end situation right now. We only have two under contract, so the situation is not looking too great, but we still have valuable pieces that we have to talk about today. Horstead is signing a one-year $895,000 deal, which is a great price for a player that could have a bigger role in 2022. For me personally, it's a great signing and something I definitely expected. Horstead is a player that hasn't gotten a lot of chances, but is someone that produced as soon as he hit the field. He's a hard worker and a player that already has some kind of connection with Justin Fields, so there's the first benefit. He's only 25, 6'4", 225 pounds, and was signed as a UDFA back in 2019 by the Bears. So let's take a look at his career first, and he started off in Chicago as a preseason legend with 121 yards and two touchdowns in the 2019 preseason, and it really caught the eyes of Bears fans. In the following regular season, he caught eight balls for 87 yards and one touchdown, I think that was that Lions touchdown where he, I don't know if he stumbled backwards, but a great catch by him and a good pass by Mitch as well. In 2020, he spent the year on the practice squad mostly because of the signing of Jimmy Graham and the draft selection of Cole Komet. And last season, in 2021, Horstead saw limited playing time with only three targets, two receptions, 21 yards, and two touchdowns. So in conclusion, a player that hasn't seen the field a lot, but a guy that is a touchdown machine. I mean, with only 10 career receptions, he has three touchdowns already, which is kind of, kind of insane. So where does this put him in the current tight end situation with the Bears? And right now it's tough to tell because we only have two tight ends with him and Cole Komet. Komet did pretty good last season and I like what I saw out of him. He's only 23 and has so much room to grow. I believe he will take the next step this season, and I don't understand people that write him off already. Titans take time to develop, and I mean, he had the 12th most receptions and receiving yards last season in the NFL for tight ends, with 612 yards and 60 receptions. Did he have some concentration drops and some bad plays? Yes, but did he have some clutch moments where he helped out his young star quarterback? Yes, he did as well. And that was under Nagy's horrible offense. So with a culture change and now Luke Getze being here, I really believe in Cole. So yeah, so the tight end situation is looking solid right now, but the Bears still need to get some third guy, maybe bring back a Jesse James who played really good in last year's preseason, had that connection with Justin Fields. I think he had several receptions and I don't know if he had more than one touchdown, but he had some good plays with Justin in preseason. And during the regular season, he had some good plays as well. So he's definitely a candidate for me to bring back as well as maybe a Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham is one of my favorite players of all time, especially at the tight end position. And I was so happy when the Bears signed him. He had a great first year, over 400 yards and I think eight touchdowns. Very productive. And then last season, Nagy decided to get him out of the game plan totally, which was uh, not understandable for me. He still had three touchdowns and over 100 and something yards, but... I think he could have produced a bit more, so maybe under a new offense you can still use him as a red zone, box out, touchdown threat, which he still is. But uh, that's up to Ryan Pauls and what he wants to do, but I think we still need that third tight end. In general, the re-signing of Jesper Horstad was a good move by Pauls. I don't know where his exact roster spot will be, but for me he will be a great tight end of 30 with upside potential and a guy that will get you some touchdowns, definitely. So that wraps up the episode, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you liked this episode. I will keep you guys updated on all of the latest Bears moves because we still have to fill out so many roster spots. The Mock Draft 2.0 will be coming up as well, so stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Check out Instagram for the latest news. And as always, guys, bear down.